The coast is under constant attack from different forms of weathering. We need to understand how weathering occurs and what it can do to our coastline. Cliff collapse at the coast is caused by different types of weathering, often working together. The three main types of weathering are mechanical weathering, chemical weathering and biological weathering. Mechanical or physical weathering involves processes like freeze-thaw, where water can get into cracks in the cliffs. It can freeze at night, causing expansion and stress on the rock, then thawing in the morning. Repeating this process over many years will slowly but surely start to fragment the rock until it breaks and disintegrates. Piles of rock fragments called scree can be found at the base of cliffs at the coast where freeze-thaw occurs. A similar process happens with salt weathering, where salt crystals are left behind from evaporated seawater. The salt crystals can grow, putting pressure on cracks on the rocks and cracking the rock over many years. Chemical weathering is where the rocks are affected by chemical changes from rain or seawater. Slightly acidic rainwater will attack more alkaline chalk or limestone cliffs and will slowly dissolve the rocks. Biological weathering occurs where plant roots grow through cracks on the rocks or where animals, like rabbits, burrow into weaker sections of rock. This can slowly erode areas at the coast. Weathering can lead to a process called mass movement. This is where large amounts of rock debris moves under the force of gravity down slopes. Rockfalls, landslides, mudflows and rotational slip are all forms of mass movement. A great example of this happened in Scarborough on the North Yorkshire coast in 1993 where Holbeck Hall Hotel collapsed as the cliff it was on slipped onto the beach below. Understanding that our coastline is susceptible to weathering and mass movement will help people to plan settlements and coastal protection in the future.